What do we sing? Happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Dallas. Happy birthday to you. No, Larry. 300 episodes. <laughs> they did 356 in all. You did 154 genies. Uh -huh. You got all the tapes too, right? Yes, sir. Okay. When did you know you had uh, liver trouble? Um, oh, about eight years ago. Yeah, eight what years ago. What was the ago. first sign? Well, I was working out in a gym, and my, my trainer said, uh, you know, you don't have the, the energy you used to have, and uh, you better go see a doctor. So I went to see the doctor, and he called up a couple of days later and said, you have a life-threatening situation here. Your liver Just like that? Just like that. He said, Larry, if you'd have another drink, it could kill you. I had a drink in my hand at the time. Were you a drinker? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alcoholic? What else? <laughs> I mean, is there another kind of I mean, drink? Betty Ford kind of... Oh, yeah. Well, no, I just drank all the time. You know, I'd wake up, I'd go through about five bottles of champagne a day and just kind of drift. I remember I got loaded. I just kind of softly loaded all day long. And then so come... you were drinking during Dallas? Oh, yeah, sure. Did you know that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. She kept saying, what are you doing to yourself? Well, I said, listen, I work all right. I'm working in it. Well, it was working, but it wasn't doing my liver any good. So I, I threw that drink away, and I never picked up another one. That was eight years ago. And three years after that, I had my liver transplant. I remember but, that. Yeah, yeah. You got it around the same time, Mandel's, right? Uh, uh, yes, I had it about uh, three or four months after that, after his. What's it like to, get, it to like? lie there to get a transplant? Oh, well, I don't know. They give you a huge enema, and then you don't realize. You know, you're, you're out of it. You know, it's just <laughs> gone. I mean, it's got to feel funny someone else's liver is in you, right? Does it feel Oh, no, of course not. You don't know any difference. I don't feel any difference. Except I speak a little Spanish. It's uh, Puerto Rican. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, and now you'd like the spokesman for the National Kidney Foundation. Yes, uh -huh. and we're having our transplant games starting tomorrow. What is that? All everybody in it had transplants? Uh, yes, uh -huh. the, all the competing people, and then the donor families come. The people, the families of the people who have given the. Uh -huh. the, the, the so you know the family of the person who gave you your liver? I I do know of them. Yes, because the National Enquirer was following the frequency of my helicopter that brought me in, and it went out and discovered who it was, interviewed them, and did a whole big thing, which they're not supposed to do. What's well, there? Really? And they did something they weren't supposed to do? Really? What yeah. a shock. I know. We'll take a break, come back, ask Linda about her work with the UN, and take your phone calls. This is Larry King Live. Don't go away. I've watched you cheat your brothers and cheat your friends, and I've heard about the tramps you've slept with, and I've stayed sober through it all. Imagine what I can do without you. Goodbye, my loving husband, and good riddance. <laughs> It, Not in your life. Are you planning to put that trash in movie houses all over this country? That's normally what's done with the pictures. Well, I'll have a team of lawyers all over you. You won't be able to take that garbage off this lot, much less show it. I'll have you in court for years. Can my publicity department quote you on that? It's exactly what we need to prove to the world that the movie really is about you. You're making a serious mistake, Sue Ellen. No, I'm not. I learned how to be devious at the feet of the master. We're back with Larry Hagman and Linda Gray. Uh, Larry stars in Linda Direct's Murder in the First, a play now in Ventura, and could be coming to a theater near you, hopefully, uh, to New York. Got great reviews out here, and we're reliving Dallas. You should see them. When we show these scenes, because you crack up some, you forget, then you remember. And yeah, yeah. It's got to be hysterical to watch this. It is. So it funny. really is. How'd yeah. you get involved with the UN? I read a script. A wonderful woman wrote a script about the issue, women's issues, women and children's issues around the world. And I read this script, and I really didn't know as a woman that all of the things that were going on <clears throat> globally. So I said, what can I do to help? I would love to get this message out. I'd love to help the women in these countries. What can I do to help? So she said, well, the UN is involved in this. I'll call them and see if there's anything you can do. So I thought maybe I'd make coffee. I didn't know what I was going to be doing. So they came out and had a lovely luncheon with me. And at the end of the luncheon, they said, um, we would like you to be our goodwill ambassador. And I thought, Audrey had passed on. Yes. Yeah. She, Audrey was with UNICEF. Um, and I'm with a wonderful um, 
area called Face to Face. Um, my first visit was to Nicaragua. And I went oh. to visit the little villages and, um, you know, sat with the women and their children. And they. now you leave for Geneva, right? I leave for Geneva Saturday, well, yes. It's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference, yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, well, I'll meet the other and, ambassadors. Are you enjoying this? I love it. It's, uh, you know, the heart expands when you do things like that. Do you feel funny having a different... Do you feel exactly the same with a new liver? I feel a lot better. This is a healthy liver. <laughs> I know, but you were, when you were feeling bad, how bad was it? Oh, you're debilitated. You just have no energy. You wake up exhausted. Yellow morning. jaundice, too? Oh, yeah. Huh. Sure. All of that. Too. Vancouver, British Columbia, as we go to calls for the Ewings. Hello. Hi. Hi. Larry, Larry, and Linda, you guys look great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm just wondering uh, if you keep up with the other cast members and what some of them are up to now. Uh, Patrick is in uh, London doing art. Uh, oh, that's play, a great yeah. play. Yeah. It'll be wonderful. He and John yeah. Boy are, are over there together in London. Oh, they are. And he and I go hunting and fishing together quite often. And uh, Steve Keneally is a good friend of mine. We go hunting and fishing together. Who do you keep in touch with? I run into uh, Charlene Tilt. I, well, I really stay in touch with Larry and my, his wonderful wife. We call each other wife. Um, mm. But I see Charlene and Ken Kershaw, uh, those and Larry mostly. And who's passed on? Uh, Jim Davis, Jim of Davis. course. Yeah. And Howard Keel. I love uh, Howard Keel. He's not and passed on. No, I love. No, no, oh, no. Yeah. But I see Howard Keel. Oh. Howard Keel lives in the desert. He doesn't sing anymore, does he? Yes, he, he does. does. He's amazing. He sells out in London and all over England. He's Goes fabulous. over there in the summer for a couple of months. What a voice. I, I never hear him sing in America. Still got it. And still got it. And he was in the Follies down in, uh, in Palm in Desert. Palm I saw desert. him do a road company in La Mancha. He was fantastic. Oh, he's incredible. Was wonderful. Dallas, hello. Uh, yes, I am the number one tour guide at South Fork Ranch. Oh. oh. And I was had the opportunity to meet Larry and Linda when they filmed in 97 for Dallas War of the Ewings. Oh. And the number one question that I'm asked every day of my life on my job is when is the next reunion show and are they ever coming to South Fork? Hold on, ma'am. South Fork is a tourist attraction? Oh, oh. yes, it is, Larry. Honey, you've <laughs> got to come see us. It's great. And you take people on tours every day? Every day. I get paid to talk about the Ewings. It's the best job. That's what sweet. a great you thing that you called in. Okay, is it going to be a four? Let her give the this answer. This is it. Tomorrow. I think you're seeing it. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, I think this, this is the reunion. It. Yeah, this the bloom it. is off the rose for reunions, I think. <laughs> no, they're not going to do one, ma'am. We're doing it right now. I... Th this is it. You've just seen <laughs> the reunion. You did three, right? Two, two. Two. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're going to, in a moment, see a clip from one. Evansville, Tennessee. Hello. Well, Evansville, Indiana, Larry. Indiana, I'm sorry. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Larry and Linda. It's great to see you. Hello. Uh, you all have done so much for TV, and you should feel proud about that. Uh, my question to you is this. Could there ever be another type of Dallas show again? Sure. Think so? Oh, yeah. sure. I think it's all shot differently. relationships. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I think people just... Talk, it's like the films in the 40s, you know. It was all about relationships, and that can But now it's forever. about uh, quiz shows and real-life yeah. mm -hmm. people on yeah. islands. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it all cyclical? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Everything goes mm -hmm. around, comes around. If you were doing Dallas now, you'd have to do what, though? Quicker cuts? Quicker cuts. Quicker cuts. Or uh, MTV-ish? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I faster. So. People Absolutely. are more hip now. But stories about relationships will always be oh, around, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, sure. Okay. As we go to break, speaking of reunions and the tour... Isn't that funny? The tour guide calls in. <laughs> I didn't know South Fork. Oh, yeah. Big. I think it's the second largest... Well, they show them the ranch and the rooms. Oh, yeah. They have the they fights have, in. They have the rodeos there. Yes, and they have everything. Baseball games wonderful. and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a scene from the reunion. I'd really like it if we could forget all the bad things that happened between us. Make this a, a really pleasant visit for you and John Ross. I'd like that, too. I hope it can happen. You think you might stay on for a while? Give me a chance to get to know my son again. Maybe you ought to take your bath. We're not leaving immediately. You look wonderful, Sue Ellen. I've never seen you look so good. I guess this marriage is agreeing with you. Thank you. How nice you care. 